Hi guys, good evening, how are you? Hi Jose, hi Jose, hi Kenya, two, two Jose's. Hi Kenya, hi iPad Andrea, hi Alex, and hi Sumara. How are you guys? Good evening. Good evening, great. Good evening. Super, okay, well welcome to this session with Miss Bea. My name is Bea Salaverria, I'm gonna be your teacher, okay? for this intermediate and I hope we learn a lot, okay? Is this your first time or have you studied with InSafort before? It's my first time. Your first time? Okay, welcome. Mm -hmm. Everybody else? First time or have you studied before? In Rudy? My case, in my first time. Your first in time? my first time. Super. I'm studying with InSafort. Okay, very good. What about the rest? First time or have you studied before? with in support. It's my first time. It's your first time, okay, thank you. Okay, so what is it that we're gonna be doing today? I'm gonna go over a little bit uh, through the platform that way you guys have an idea of how it works. Have you, have you been able to access the platform and log in to englishcorporativo.net using your email and the password one, two, three, four, five? Do you have access to it? Mm -hmm. Let's go over it together. So you should have, you should log into Inglés Corporativo, okay? Uh, it's online.inglescorporativo.net, yes? I want you all to try to do it if you haven't done it, because we're gonna be using it a lot, okay? So once you're here, it's going to ask you for your username, which is your email, and then your password, which usually is one, two, three, four, five, okay? When you are there, raise your hand. Let me know when you're there, please. I have logging in. Okay, have you logged in? Yeah. I'm okay. In the platform right now. Super. Everybody else, are you guys in? Yes, I am in. Okay. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna look for your, I have many of them, but once you're here, you're gonna look for intermediate module one. If it's the one that you have assigned, maybe it's going to be the only one. And you're going to have sections. We're gonna have five sections. We have five sections that we have to cover in four weeks, okay? So you have to work on your platform, but you're free to work the time you can invest a lot of time working on the platform, okay? The idea is for you to be able to finish before we finish this 16 sessions. We're gonna have classes from Monday through Thursday, right? From nine to 10 and one hour each. I'm gonna try to use topics, side topics related to the platform. That way you guys can work on it and have a better idea and we're gonna try to do more exercises related to the platform. If you guys have questions, feel free to uh, text me through WhatsApp. We have a group on WhatsApp. If you do not have the link, let me know so I can share the link. Who does not have the link of WhatsApp to join? There's a link that you click on to join to WhatsApp. Do you all have, are you all joined in WhatsApp too? Or no, guys? No, I, I don't know the link of, of WhatsApp. Okay, let me... I know. You don't have the link. Okay, let me share it to you right now. That way we're all aligned. Just give me one minute. Let me look for oh. it. So I... I'm going to share it here through Zoom. So once you click on it, I'm going to share on the chat right now. Oh, so I don't have the link. I send it right now through through the Zoom chat. Look for it. So you can have it twice. I'm, I send it two times. That way you just click on it and it will give you immediate access to our group, okay? That way you're all joined there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so going back to our screen. So we have, um, hold on here. 
once you log into the platform, guys, you're going to see uh, that you, we have different sections. So the idea is that in one month, you complete those sections, okay? So work, please feel free to work on your time. So today we're gonna get started, okay? Um, and I'm, I wanna get started with this, okay? To show you how it works. We usually have an objective, we have a topic, and we have a knowledge check, which is an exercise that we have, okay? So I'm gonna give you like a little overview for you to, I'm gonna do the first session with you from the platform that way you have an idea of what does it look like. The lesson objective will tell you what the topic is going to be about. And then the topic itself, and then an exercise. Usually it's like that. So here it tells you that by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past was and where. So it's the verb be, right? The verb be. So the past tense of the verb be, cero estar, it's was or where, okay? And various regular and irregular verbs. For example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater details and get to know people. Okay, so taking in consideration this, this is a specific one. I want you to use what I just highlighted to tell me about yourself. For example, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna role model. I was born in El Salvador. I grew up in El Salvador, um, but I moved to the United States uh, three months ago, just to give you an example. And I didn't speak English, now I speak English, for example, okay? So it's just, you don't have to use the example that is there, you can use another example to yourself. If you notice, I used was or were in the past tense, okay? The past tense. So then we have a video that will show us what the lesson is about, and then we have an exercise. Let's pay attention to the video. But I think I'm going to activate the sound. Tell me if you're able to listen to the sound, okay? I'm gonna activate the sound, and there we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able. Can you listen? Yeah, the yeah. sound is great. I can hear. Yeah. Okay, super. To talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I had to change that to the past. For most verbs, 
we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever a compliment. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH word, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused, and so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be.
I'm going to stop there and I'm going to ask you all. Okay, guys, where did you go to middle school? Where did you study middle school? Who can help me? What's your answer? For example, I studied at the American school in my case. What about you guys? What would be your answer? Where did you go to middle school? I studied uh, at the Instituto Emiliani. Okay, thank you. Jose, anybody else? I am studying at, I am studying at uh, Instituto Inam. Okay, I studied. Mm -hmm. I studied. I studied. Because, uh, very good, I studied at Inam. Very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In my case, I study at Colegio Salarue. Okay, thank you. What about the rest? I study in the Colegio Educativo Juan 23. I studied. I studied. Very good. Okay, I studied because it already happened. It finished. Okay, I studied at complejo educativo, okay? Anybody else? I study at Colegio Luz de Israel. Super. Remember, participation is key, so the more you talk, the less I talk, okay? Because I want to listen to you speaking in English. I want you to practice, okay? Okay, next question. When did you first study English? Um, I first and then again, the same way you ask, the same way you answer, okay? When did you first study English? So my answer would be, I first studied English when I was in kindergarten. For example, in my case, when I was in kindergarten. What about you guys? Mm -hmm. When did you first study English? You remember? When did you first study English? I, I study Yes, I remember that I studied English at the school in basic. In basic. Okay, elementary? Mm -hmm. Elementary school, okay. Yes. Elementary mm -hmm. school, yes. Okay. Mm, I fear that. Let me see, I remember at middle school at Colegio Salarue. Okay, thank you, middle school. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I started to learn English in fourth grade in my school. First or fourth? Fourth grade. Fourth. Okay, fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. I study English corporation. <coughs> okay, at your job when you were working. Yes. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Now, next question. Did you have a pet when you were child when you were a child? My answer is yes, I had a pet. His name was Canito. Yes, me too. Oh, yes, pet. I have and a ranger was Heather. Was the name. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have a pet. Uh, their names are Takao, uh, Beethoven, and Titi. Were. Okay, very good. Three but dogs. remember, when you were a child, when you were small, did you have a pet? When you were when you were a kid, when you were a child, when I was a child. Mm, no, I don't remember when when I was a child, but yes, maybe. Maybe a dog. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. Maybe like a firulais. We all had like a firulais that we wanted to adopt, right? Maybe. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We wanted to adopt all the all the dogs in the streets. Okay. Anybody else? Did you have a pet when you were a child? Yes. Uh, yeah, I did. When I was a child, I have a parrot. Uh -huh. uh, his name is he, his name it was, I think Pepe. I think Pepe. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you. Very good. Mm -hmm. In Anybody my else? case too, uh, 
When I was a child, I had a pet, a turtle here. Her name was uh, Lulu. Okay, Lulu. When I was a child, I remember that uh, I have a pet and his name is was? Pepita. His name was Pepito. No. Okay. It was Pepita. Ah, Pepita. Okay. Very good, very good. Now, uh, Masi said something very interesting. Let me show you, and I'm gonna move fast, and this is like for, for you guys to know. We have always called tortugas turtles, but guess what? They are not called turtles. Now, I'm gonna explain why. A tortoise is from the land, and a turtle is from the water. So they have different names. So we have always called turtles, whether they are, whether they swim or not, we have always called them turtles. But guess what? There's a difference between tortoise versus turtle. So Masi, did you have a turtle or a tortoise? A uh, turtle. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. Okay, so now you know this is the difference, right? I'm gonna send you the image on WhatsApp. But this is a difference for you to know, okay? Very good. Teacher. Yes. Uh, could you repeat the the pronunciation between the tours? Yes, tortoise. Tortoise. I'm gonna write it here too. Tortoise. Like tor to east. This is Spanish, okay? I'm gonna write it in Spanish like the way you would say tor to east. True. Say it in Spanish. Tor to east. Tor. This is the pronunciation. Tor to east. No, in Spanish. Tor to east. Tor to east. Like that. Tor to east. There you go. Tor, tor to east. Mm -hmm. So it's a tor to east. Mm -hmm. Tor to east. Oh, okay. Tor and we have always called them turtles. <gasps> Imagine, fun fact. They knew for me. Uh huh. Okay, so we were talking about pets. So we had canitos, pirulais, pepitas, eh, many other pets, right? Ra Rander, I heard there. Now, who was your hero when you were a child? Here, mine, Shira from He Man. She was my hero. What about you? <laughs> In my case, what? my hero was my hero was um, Superman. Superman, He's okay. Superman was yes. Superman. Mm -hmm. Was okay. Was Very good. Superman? Yes. Anybody else? Who was your hero? Yeah, yeah. In my case, my hero when I was a child was <laughs> Leon O of Thundercats. Oh, okay. The Thundercats, nice. Mm -hmm. Well, my, my heroes favorite hero always have been the Punisher. <gasps> the pun the Punisher, okay. That's yeah, great. It's my favorite hero. Okay, nice. When I was a child, um, my favorite hero was yeah. uh, Flash, and now, um, Super Superwoman. Superwoman, okay, super. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, my, so let's my my hero's favorite is favorite DC. hero? My favorite hero? Yeah. Is Jesus. 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 Of course. Oh, Jesus we should Christian. have said that before. Yeah, we should have said that before everything else. Shame on you guys. Shame on you. No Wonder Woman, no Thundercats. It's Jesus. Yeah, I forgot. Yes. Thank you. You're totally right. Okay, so let's finish this lesson and let's do a little exercise together. And the reason that I used it in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. 
Okay, so moving forward to the exercise. Now, since this is, this is how the platform works. So you have a video with the presentation of the topic. This was just a demo, for, okay, for the topic. And then right after that, you have a knowledge check, which is a, an exercise. So what I'm gonna do, this is 1.2. So I want you to all to open up your platform in 1.2, and I'm gonna put you in partners. That way you can complete it together, and then we're gonna check on the answers, okay? So I'm going to send an invitation for you to join the little break rooms, which are like little rooms for you to work only uh, solo with your partner, okay? So please accept okay. when you see my invitation. So I'm gonna send break rooms so you can work. So remember, open 1.2 on the platform. Remember that to access the platform is your email plus the password, which is 12345, I think, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. So you will receive an invitation. Please click accept. Hello. Hello, I'm ready. I'm ready. What's your name? Jose. Nice to meet you. I am Andrea. Well, I have finished the knowledge check. If you want to compare the, the answers. <sighs> oh, you want to check first? You can share your screen. You can share your screen. That way you can do the exercises with her too, mm -hmm. with Kenya and, and Andrea, okay? 1.2, guys, okay? Okay. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Lucia. Hi, Hugo. Are you working on the exercise? Yes. yes. Okay. You can actually share your screen so you can actually uh, share the exercise, okay? So you can work together mm -hmm. in case Lucia doesn't okay. have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Lucy. But maybe we can, Lucy, are you there? But maybe we cannot listen to her. Let me send you. Some, let me send you somewhere else, okay? Okay. Or someone else here. That way you can work with somebody else too. Oh, hola. Hi, Lucy. Hi. Oh, okay, Hi. there Sorry. she is. No, it's okay. We <laughs> thought Sorry. you were not there. Okay, no worries. Hi. Um, what you is can, your routine? Sorry. <laughs> yes, you have to work on 1.2 exercise with U, okay, together from the platform. Um, the first, second, anything? Unit one and it's uh, the one point two. Uh, the question of the best this one. I'm going to show you this one. The platform, one point two, from the platform. See, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't understand. Sorry. 
Ah, no, no. Okay. Mm. So we yeah. sent you, we sent you a link in your email for you to uh -huh. access a platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Access it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Share your screen. Dale compartir a tu pantalla. Share your screen. So I can show oh. you where. Uh -huh. So we can uh, show you where it is. A donde le doy. Compar ah, aquí. Eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora voy a la, pl a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Yes. And inside the platform, uh, you have five sections. Uh, section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. Mm -hmm. So for section, for section uh, one, go to 1.2, which is the, where the exercise is. Oh. Are you there? <laughs> ¿Qué tengo que hacer? Perdón. <laughs> que algo me desconcentró, lo siento. No, 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 don't worry. Okay, mm. so. Mm? I'm going to share with you what you have to do. Hold on, just give me a minute here. You go to the platform and you have, once you access the course, you have different sections. So for example, here you have the course and you have the different sections, right? Las secciones. So you have to go here in section one. There's a, you see you have, this is, are you here? Tu mm estas aquí? -hmm. Okay, so click on section one and it's going to display many Many options. So you're going to click on 1.2, which says knowledge check. And that's the one oh. that you're going to be working with, with this one. Knowledge check. And this is the one that you're going to be working with. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Ugo, are you there? Yes. Ah, okay, so work with Lucy, okay? I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna yes. go visit another group. For example, the, the, the answer is in past. Mm -hmm. But the answer, the, uh, but the question is in present. There? And, and my case, where did you grow up? Number one, how do you say? I think so. And you have the reason. Number one. Yeah. Okay. You Question. are right. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi when teacher. You say, when you say it's correct, you say, uh, when somebody is correct, you would say, you are right. Okay. You are right. Okay. You are right. You, are right. Uh, you have a reason. Right. It's like saying, tú tienes una razón, but it's what type of reason? So oh. you have, like, the, what, you know. So it's like you're right or you're wrong. Okay. You're right or you're wrong. You're wrong when I is a bad response. Mm -hmm. You only have a bad response or a bad answer. And then it's like, you're right. Yeah, it's true. You're right. Uh -huh. So it's when you're saying okay. it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. Thanks, teacher. I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Number four. Where in the you grand, grand, Grandula from Collier. Me tira siempre la mismo la mismo número dos. A grandulation grandulation from Collier in the 2005. Yo creo que es la primera, fíjese. No, yo ya la hice, aquí la tengo. Ajá. Ajá. Yo ya la tengo. ¿Y le pareció buena? Está, está todo bueno. Ok. Entonces tendría que hacerla yo acá, ahorita estoy... Vaya, oiga, oiga, dice, le hace la pregunta, okay. dice, le hace la pregunta, <laughs> Did you play soccer in okay. here? Is sure? No, no, she not, no, this not play soccer in here. Is sure she player? 
de básquetbol. Es la número dos, abajo. La número dos. Sí, la de en medio. Cero, ok. Eh. Híjole, ahí sí me agarró en curva esto. Sí. Es la número dos. La número dos. Sí, pero de, de, como le hace tres preguntas, va. Hay tres cabal. preguntas. De las tres preguntas, la de en medio es. Ok. Yo ya la tengo, si ya la hice. Vaya, perfecto, pero no lo puedo entrar, fíjese, mire, acá estoy en la, en la plataforma. Si la teacher me da acá permiso, estoy, sí, correcto. Si la teacher nos da ahorita, yo se lo puedo mandar al WhatsApp. Vaya, no hay problema, porque, sí, sí, porque no, no me accede. Vaya, se queda como la... cargando y no. Number It's... two. Mauricio, it's your email. Tiene que ser su correo electrónico. Y su contraseña es 12345. Ok. Ahorita, teacher, fíjese que estoy intentándolo y no me... No, es que más creo que no es el... Eh, es el internet. O sea, el correo, sino... Exacto, es, es el internet. Ah, ok. Porque... Tomar. Ajá, porque eh, estoy conectado desde mi teléfono en la, en la aplicación y no... no o sea, no, hay, no, me pare, no, me, no me da problema, pues, pero ahorita estoy volviendo a intentar. Vale, ahorita... yo ya la... Teacher, yes, yo ya yes. la hice. Okay. Yo, yo ya la hice. A mí me tira la number two. Mm -hmm. eh, dice, where, where did you graduate from college? I college, graduated uh -huh. from college. Graduate? Eh, where did you from graduate college from college in mm -hmm. 2005. Uh -huh. La number two. Number three, this is uh, a great how in the Houston, Texas. Uh, I grew Where up in Houston, you Texas. Grow? Where did you sí. grow up? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Me dio bien, ya la tengo hecha. Mm -hmm. De ahí, this is a num number four. Number four. Uh -huh. I learned to study English to here. I go. Uh -huh. Two years ago. Where in the, where, where, where you begin mm -hmm. to study English? Yes. When did you begin to study English? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Number five. Mm -hmm. Did you have a pet? A, a, a pet? pet? A pet. A pet. Were you wearing chill? Uh huh. Yes, yes. I did. Very good. Yes, I did. Excellent. Very good. Yes, those are the answers. Mm -hmm. Good job, JC. Don't worry. Process. We're going to go over the answers together, okay? I'm going to okay. take you back to all to the main screen. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back. So let's go over the exercise really quick. Hi. Let's go over the exercise really quick together, okay? I'm gonna share my screen and tell me if you have the answers correct. For number one, um, let me see. Choose the best response to this question. Mm. Did she play soccer in high school? No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Do you have it correct? Yeah. No, no es correcto. Ok. Oh, no, it's not correct. Eh, okay. no, no, number two, number two. Ok. Number two, where did you graduate from college? I graduated from college in 2005. Do you have it correct? Sí, yeah, correct. Yes, yes, be sure. Number three, um, I grew up in Houston, Texas. So the question is, where did you grow up? Correct? Or did you grow up? Yeah. Super. Yes. Remember, when you use did, siempre que se usa did como ya está en pasado, it's already in past, the verb, the main verb that goes with did, siempre va a ir en presente. It will always go in present, okay? Always. Yes. Oh, okay. Because okay. did ya está tomando el pasado, so no hay necesidad de poner 
did you went, okay? Or did you uh, worked, for example? So no, it's already taken the past tense. Next one, number four. I began to study two years ago. My question is, when did you begin to study English? Do you have it correct? No. The one, yes. The one, the one, one. Okay. And then number five is, did you have a pet when you were a child? And your answer was, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Super. Okay. <laughs> Yay, good job, guys. Now, to practice more, I have a website that I'm going to share with you, which is called liveworksheets.com. In this website, you just type the topic, for example, was and where. That's our topic, was and where. And it will give you many worksheets, and it corrects them in the moment automatically to give you a score so you can practice them. So I am going to send you the link right now of one so you can practice in groups, okay? So I'm gonna send you the link right now, which is this one, so you can practice was and where and did questions, okay? So let me send you the link right now, that way you can practice. I'm gonna send you the link here and on WhatsApp, whichever it's easier for you to take a look, okay? And I'm going to make the group so you can practice. Okay, please accept the invitation and open up your link. I sent you the link also to WhatsApp. Hello. Do you do you have the do you have the presentation? Were you able to open it up? Yes. Yes, I, I have. Okay, super. So work on work on the exercise. Uh, the good thing is that when you click submit at the end, when you click finish, check results and it gives you the answers, the correct ones and the wrong ones. Okay. 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 So work okay. together on it. Mm -hmm. You can take turns like number one, number two, number three, so you can work faster as a group. So all of you should be working together. Okay. Doing this link. Will I send that we have to answer? Answer? Ask the, yes, we have to ask the question, right? Yes, you have to participate, and here you have to answer uh, with was, where, or did. Was Mandy at work yesterday? What I like about this is that at the end you click finish and then check your answers, and it actually highlights red if it's wrong and green if it's correct. So it gives you, oh. and then if you highlight whenever it's wrong and you highlight on top of the wrong one, it gives you what the answer was, the correct one. Okay. Well, but in the link, the, um, what can I need to do a count or something like that? Just answer, answer, answer with yes, you have to answer, type the word. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. In this case, I think that the exercise one. Fill the graph with what, where, or this. Okay. I think that the first, the first question is, uh, was right? Was what Mandy, Mandy? Was Mandy at work yesterday? Yes, he correct. Yeah. Uh huh. 
nada, para mí en el ejercicio 1 tenemos que llenar con was, where, o did. La, la aquí, aquí hay uno, dice que dice money in the money, man, man, mindy, Monday. I wore, I wore uh, yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So you have to pick if it was was, where, or did. Tiene que escoger. Y, and you have to type all of the exercise, es describirlo. So you have to type the exercise, the word that you consider is correct. Mm -hmm. Eh, sería I did. Sería was. Was Mandy was. at work? Was. Para terceras personas siempre va a ser was. Para los demás va a ser where. Y did es siempre para pregunta. Mm -hmm. And the majority of times. Mm -hmm. Entonces, where, where are they? They were. Where in? was was yo digo que was sí sería was was okay number six what do we like what the weather like where mm -hmm. What were the weather like? What was the weather like? What was? Third was persons, there. terceras personas, she, he, it, always was. Then mm -hmm. I, um, then, then where, it would be for the plurals. Mm -hmm. Was is third person, she, he, it. Y como weather es clima, and if we transfer, Whether to a pronoun, sería it. It was. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Yes. Number seven. Mm -hmm. um, dog in the where garden. You, where you dog in the garden. In the garden. Dog is she, he, or it? It. Mm -hmm. It was. Oh, um, uh -huh. Was you so remember, always in the garden? Look at the profession, look at the name, look at the, what they're talking about, and try to transfer it. Conviértalo en un pronombre. Dependiendo de qué pronombre sea, así va a ser su verbo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eight. I you learn Chinese. Why did you, you learn? That is. Number nine. Who she go on holiday with? Who was? Quería saber si me escuchaban. Tengo, me está fallando la señal. Eso me desconecto de la plataforma. Eh, sí, sí, te, yo te escucho. Sí, sí. Oh, okay. Me desconecto. 
¿Lo van respondiendo cada quien o...? Pues yo lo voy respondiendo todo. Ok. No sé si así es sí. o... Ok, Juan. Lo teníamos que, que creo yo, que, que interactuar, me imagino. Yes, you had to do it uh, as a group. And, but then since time flies with you guys, imagine one hour, it already passed already. We're almost finished. So at the end, you're going to send me the screenshot, okay? Capture de pantalla of the results of your answers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you back to the. Okay. And then you send me the. Guys, wow, time flies. El tiempo ya se fue una hora y pasa volando con ustedes. Mm -hmm. So, since you have not finished, what I want you to do is finish the worksheet, pero les quiero mostrar un poquito cómo funciona para que no se pierdan y después me mandan la captura de pantalla, the screenshot. So, you have, you finish typing the answers. When you finish, you click here, finish, of course, and it will give you two options. Check my answers. When you click okay. on it, obviamente porque no he terminado, it's going to give me a green if it's correct, a red if it's X. And see, I have them correct. Now, for the wrong ones, if you highlight on top of the wrong one, it gives you the right answer. See, si yo pongo mi cursor encima de la que saqué mala, me va a decir cuál era la respuesta correcta para eso. Okay. Okay, so see? It gives okay. me like the answer, see? Okay. If I just, but I don't have to click on it. I just have to place, solo tengo que poner mi cursor. And here, see? It gives me the answer. So I want you to complete the worksheet. When you're finished, check on your answers y mandenme su captura de pantalla para ver cuántos se sacaron, okay? So you can give me the answer when you finish, okay? This is, then again, this is additional work to the platform just for you to practice what's and where and did, okay? It's my it's homework. So this is like your, your homework for you to finish okay. it and send me the captura de pantalla, the screenshot. And at the end, it gives you la nota, babe. it gives you how for much tomorrow. you have. For tomorrow. For tomorrow. I, I, okay, I thank you. Por favor, teacher. Mande, no es el link al WhatsApp. Sí, con gusto. Yo se los mando al WhatsApp a todos. Porque la computadora, no, no creo que lo mando. ¿Ya lo mandó? Sí, aquí estoy revisando en mi WhatsApp y ya lo tengo. Okay. Sí, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys, thank and you so when, much. Thank you so much for joining today. It was a pleasure conocerlos. Me too. I hope we have a fantastic uh, month together. Hey, teacher. Well, yes. Yo soy en otro grupo de WhatsApp. Me metieron a otro. <laughs> okay. Y yo no estoy en el WhatsApp, teacher. <laughs> si me ah. agregar, sería... eh, okay. Just Vaya, give me a en el caso... Acá, eh, en el caso tiene, mío, teacher. Espérame. Le voy a mandar el link, acá está arriba el link del chat al que tienen que estar agregados. El oh. WhatsApp. Yo estoy en tres, teacher. Sálganse <risa> los que no están. Sálganse los que no están. Métanse solo en el que realmente es, creo que es. Yo por, I, yo por error entré en el primero, pero me salí o entré en este. Estuve en, en la clase de las 8 en otro nivel. Le, le, voy, ah, le, voy a comentar, le voy a comentar algo, teacher. Lo que Dígame. pasa es que como, como hemos estado bastante en los grupos, en los grupos que hemos estado, de todo lo que hemos ido pasando, ahí nos van quedando y ahí mismo nos están metiendo. Sí. Y quedamos uno ahí, ahí activo ya. Sí, entonces háganse. Tendría, ¿Verdad, teacher, que se tendría que decir? L1 creo que, eh, perdón, I1 creo que es intermedio 1, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, la fecha, eh, la, el horario, uh -huh. de 9 a 10 pm, y la otra creo que es la fecha. Les enseño, acá está. Hoy, ¿no? Ustedes son esos, I1, I 02, ok, de 9 a 10 pm, que empezó en mayo del 2020. Entonces ya si están en los demás, probablemente mejor. Vaya, es como les digo.
Aquí lo estoy viendo, teacher, pero no aparezco, no aparece lo que él dice de que ya, ya mandó usted el link. Ajá, okay. no estoy en ese grupo. No aparezco, aquí estoy en otro grupo, yo ve, aquí me okay. está cayendo en otro grupo. <risa> Entonces, cuando ustedes recibieron un correo, les mandaron toda esta información. Les mandaron su grupo de WhatsApp, su meeting, ¿ok? ¿Sí? Entonces, ese link que les mandé es el claro. de ustedes. Uh -huh. Es el que les acabo de compartir ahorita. Creo que es el mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, creo. Sí, es el mismo. Ah, pues en este, el que le acabo de mandar ahorita, es el grupo de esa clase. Si está en otro, si okay. usted desea quedarse en Gracias. ese, por, pues. No, pero no me parezco, teacher. Mm -hmm. Es por gusto. Lo que correo se equivocaron en el, en el link. Entonces, Vaya. igual yo pregunté y Perdón. me mandaron este. Perdón, teacher, fíjese que a mí me han mandado, me han mandado en Zoom, el 943-5718. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fíjese, y, y aquí estoy en otro, en otro, en otro, uh -huh. y, y aquí tengo el otro, el otro que me están dando, que es el, el que han dado, el 916-86-69-2307. Aquí estoy ingresado en todo, en, no se saben cuál es. Sal, y eso quiere, me lo mandaron al correo. Probablemente se equivocaron. Lo siento ahí si hubo un mes de comunicación y si se equivocaron. Si quieren, sálganse de todos y solo denle clic a ese y ya se quedan en este. Porque ese es el que Carlos, el oficial de nosotros. ¿Dónde? Ahorita, perdón, perdón, teacher. A su personal le he enviado el, 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 el link donde está el, el grupo que es ya el de nosotros, pues, para que se salga de todos y ya se, se meta al que, al que... No me da. Que nos acaba. No me Ahorita da. Yo se lo envía a su, a su, a su personal, a su, a su WhatsApp. Mire, díselo, por favor. mire, aquí Acabo lo estoy viendo, aquí lo estoy dando y no me aparece. Permítanme. Mire. Ah, bueno, ahí sí, no sé si será... De cell phone, maybe. Ajá. De conexión. Ok. Wow. Well, Tal vez más tarde intente, y, no, pero sí es eso. No, no problem, teacher, no Perfecto. problem. No worry. Well, no guys, problem. thank you very much. Awesome to see you. See you tomorrow, same time, okay? Bye, okay. guys. Nice Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night.